download this, we're going to go to propulsionanalysis.com. We're, we're going to go down and click Get Free Trial Version. For Mac, we're going to download this one. For Windows, we're going to download this one. And for Linux, I believe you would download this one. But we're on Windows, so we're going to download this one. Now, the thing is with this trial version is that it does not have a time limit, but it only allows you to run three simulations before you have to close the program and reopen it. For our chamber pressure, we're going to change our pressure units from megapascals to PSI, and then type in 300 for our chamber pressure. For our nominal thrust, we're going to change it from kilonewtons to newtons, and type in 60. Ambient pressure of one atmosphere. Then we're going to go to propellant specification. We're going to, for our mixture ratio, we're going to type in 1.857. Go down for our oxidizer. We're going to click add. We're going to type in CAN03 in the filter box. We're going to click apply. Then we're going to select the solid CAN03. Click OK. Now we're going to do the same for the fuel, but in our filter, we're going to type in dextrose in the filter. You select the only available option. Click OK. Then we're going to click nozzle flow model. We're going to click pressure type in one atmosphere, then we go to nozzle shape and efficiencies, we're going to select conical nozzle, we're going to type in 12 degrees for the half angle, then we're going to go to ambient condition throttle settings, select fixed ambient pressure, type in one atmosphere, then for throttle settings we're going to select that, select fixed throttle value, and type in 1.0. Now we're going to go beneath performance analysis and click engine design, and then select chamber geometry, and then we're going to select size and geometry, and click run. Our DC is going to be our chamber diameter. It's going to be 21.22 millimeters. Our L sill is going to be the length of our cylinder, which is going to be the chamber, which is 49.80 millimeters. Our LC is going to be the length of our conversion. Part of our nozzle is going to be 72.07 millimeters. Our DT is our throat diameter. It's going to be 5.3 millimeters. Our LE is going to be the length of our exit part of the nozzle, and it's going to be 12.98 millimeters. Our DE is going to be our exit diameter, which is going to be 10.78 millimeters. 